Hello Valorant users, welcome back to Sibrov. In this video, I will be sharing the best solutions and methods to fix Valorant lag and FPS drop on your Windows 10 and Windows 11. So first, we will be starting with the Valorant settings. Open your Valorant game, then click on the setting icon at the right hand top. Then you have to click on settings. Now from the top menu option, you have to click on video and then click on graphics quality. Now here I'm just making some changes and you need to keep the same settings on your PC and laptop. Now in the graphic setting you might see at the very top multi-thread rendering. So if you get that option then you have to enable it you need to keep that on. The material quality you have to keep it to low. Texture quality you have to keep it to low. Detail quality will be low. UI quality will be low. Then it comes Vignet and we think you need to turn off these features. Now it comes anti-aliasing, you just need to click on the drop down and choose MSAA4X and is a tropic filtering you have to click on the drop down and choose 4X and now the improved clarity, bloom, distortion, cast shadows all these options will be off. Alright so once you are done switch to the general option make sure the display mode has been set to full screen choose the right resolution from here and right monitor aspect ratio method will be letterbox limit fps on battery this option will be off limit fps in menus will be on limit fps in background will be on limit fps always will be turned off then you have max fps always you have to keep this to 60. once you are done you can close the settings and then close your valorant game now on your Windows 10 or 11, you have to make a right click on the Windows icon, then click on Run. In the Run box, you have to type percent local app data percent again, then click on OK. Now here you have to look for the Valorant folder, double click on it, then click on Saved, then click on Config, and then click on the top folder, then click on Windows. And here you will find game user settings.ini. Double click on it. Now here it will be coming up with a notepad. And if not, then you have to open it with a notepad. Then you scroll down to the very bottom. And here you will find the resolution quality. It should be set to 100. You just need to replace this 100 with 50. Then you will have view distance quality and TLI quality. You have to make all of them zero. Once done, press Ctrl and S from your keyboard to save it, then you can close. Now click on your Windows search, type ncpa.cpl, hit enter. The network connection will be coming up. Now here you have to look for the connection through which you are connected. So if you are connected with your Wi-Fi, then you have to make a right click on the Wi-Fi, choose properties. Then you have to look for Internet Protocol version 4, double click on it. And here you have to choose the second option, use the following DNS server address. Click on it. And in the preferred, you have to type 1, 1, 1 and 1. In the alternate, it, you have to type 1, 0, 0 and 1. Now this will be improving the ping as well. So you have to click on OK, then click OK again. Now you can close it. Now click on your Windows search, type Valorant. Right click on the Valorant, choose open file location. You will be getting Valorant here. Again, make a right click on it and choose open file location. Once you come here, from the search address box, you have to click on Riot Games, then click on Valorant folder, then click on Live, Shooter Game, and on Binaries. Win64, and now here you have to scroll down and you will find Valorant Win64 Shipping.exe. Right click on it and choose Properties. Now here click on the Compatibility tab and make sure this Disable Full Screen Optimization has been checked. Run this program as administrator has been checked. Then click apply and then click on OK. Now keep this folder on. Then you have to click again on your Windows search. Type graphic. Choose graphic settings. Then click on browse. And now you need to locate to the Valorant game path location. So open the same folder that we just opened in the last step. This one. Then you have to copy this path from the top address box. Right click, choose copy. Then close it. Now paste the path here in the top address box, hit enter, choose Valorant Win64 Shipping.exe, click add, click on options, 
and choose high performance then click on save and then you can close it and now if you're also using discord application then open your discord then click on the user setting icon then you have to click on advanced from the left hand menu option and here you'll find hardware acceleration disable this option click ok and your discord will now be rebooting up and once it comes up again click on the setting icon then from the left hand menu option click on voice and video now scroll down and at the bottom you will find debug logging you just need to disable this option as well then click on ok and again discord will be restarted and now if you are also using chrome browser then open your chrome then click on the three dot at the right hand top then click on settings then from the left hand menu option click on system and here you will find continue running background app when google chrome is closed you need to disable this option and even disable use hardware acceleration when available disable both these options then you can close your chrome and then finally you also need to make sure that your graphic driver and graphic software is up to date so right click on your windows icon then click on device manager from the list from the device manager you have to look for display adapter double click on it and it will show you the driver the graphic card whichever you are using it can be amd nvidia or intel whichever it is right click on it and choose update driver then click search automatically for drivers and if there are update available kindly go ahead and update it once done you just need to restart your valorant game again and while playing valorant game make sure that there is no other application running in the background which you are not using so once your valorant game is up come back to your desktop right click on the windows icon then click on task manager now here you look for the application that you are not currently using like microsoft edge and the vmware whichever i'm not using just need to make a right click on it and task especially browser like google chrome microsoft edge and brave once you are done with all these steps i'm very sure that the lagging problem will be surely fixed from your valorant game so that's all guys for today's video hopefully this will surely work for you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and still if you have any question any problem let me know in the comment section and i see you in the next video bye bye